up everyone welcome back to another youtube video my name is mike i am a full-time used book reseller so the only thing i do is sell used books so i go into thrift stores i utilize platforms like craigslist facebook and i basically just scan the books see what's profitable box them up send them to amazon and amazon deals with the rest it's that easy i still can't believe i do this instead of working a retail job i was miserable at so Today's video is going to be a one-stop shop video and we are at everybody's favorite cheapest thrift store in all the world, the Goodwill. I mean the price is a rock bottom in here, you can't beat it. I'm talking one cent softbacks, two cent hardbacks. I mean who doesn't love going to the Goodwill and spending so little money and making all the money. So we are at Lemoyne, Pennsylvania Goodwill. I have not been here in three weeks. And unfortunately, they are currently out of stock of the one cent, two cent books. So I'll probably be paying two dollars, three dollars, four dollar books. But hey, that's just the way it goes sometimes. So while I'm in there, you guys will see my Scout IQ screen. It's just a phone app that says whether or not I'm buying it. So all I do is scan it with my little scanner here, my little finger scanner. And my phone says buy or don't buy. So 95% of the time, it's probably gonna say don't buy, but every once in a while, we do get a green. So we're gonna spend 30 minutes in here, get in and out of here as quick as we can, see if we can make any money. So let me get in here and let's get to work. All right, guys, we made it back from in there. We got a grand total of five books. Boo. I don't know. Honestly, I feel bad for anybody that has to rely on Goodwills as like their main source to thrift items to flip online, whether it's books or just selling anything on eBay. I mean, these places suck anymore. And they used to be gold mines. We go back one, two, probably two years. And I don't know, it was like Goodwill was a different store. The quality was better. Everything just seemed better about this place. And now it's just, seems like they all suck. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but I'm glad I don't gotta rely on Goodwills because I, ugh, I won't even exist. <laughs> so first up we have two tankers down, small boat rescue. Nothing crazy out of here either. Five dollars, slow mover. We only paid two bucks for these books. They had books in there, four, five, six dollars. Harry Potter softbacks for four dollars. I don't. They're crazy. 
The General Hospital Trivia Book. This is like an old school one here. Let's see if it wants to load here. I have Metro. My phone service has just been terrible lately. All right, here you go. $35, so that's not bad. I mean, yet again, I'll, I'm going to say this every time it pops up. The Merchant Fulfilled is $6.67. The used buy box is $46.95. Who cares about Merchant Fulfilled? The buy box is going to FBA, so this should get us, you know, right around $45 bucks when it sells. The X-Files, Volume 6. $13, bucks, not terrible. 10 e score. Cheating, an inside look at the bad things good NASCAR Winston Cup racers do in pursuit of speed. Seven bucks. And then the last one we got was 834 or something bar it. So I mean we got five five books, probably make 60 bucks. So I mean it wasn't bad. We were in and out of there pretty quick. They had a lot of books, but a lot of crappy books. Um I personally think Goodwill is now having somebody scan everything in the back not just books i'm just talking about in general um i know you guys see it they're merchant fulfilling books making 10 cents 20 cents a book they're losing money they don't know what they're doing um but i think now they are literally trying to basically just be a reseller just at a huge scale and they just don't have the expertise or the knowledge to understand what they're doing so I think Goodwills in the next year or so will kind of start to be phased out of every reseller's basically route because they're just, they're not, there's nothing there for us, unfortunately, anymore. But as always, one door closes, another one opens. And if you don't have another one by you that's open, then you create one. And that means, you know, creating an online ad, doing free pickups, doing garage sales, doing whatever you can. So you don't have to rely on places like this. So not bad. 30 minutes, 50 bucks. Wasn't a total waste. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more used book videos. Bye-bye.